I believe, huge opportunities with education and training for our incredible people of Africa. And uh, we are very, very excited to be part of that journey. So what we're looking at is in the implementation of technology, how do we actually ensure that our people, all levels of employees are involved in the journey with us? And over the last two decades, the number of women employed in the mining industry in Australia has jumped from about 8,500 people back in 2002 to now an estimated 45,000 people. And I think recognising the value that that different perspective and different DNA brings to the workplace is what is important for us to drive a different culture in mining. What we will share with Australia a lot, Australia has a big coal mining sector. Uh, how did you manage to move so quick into renewables? We can't move that quick, but you'll have to share that experience with us. Uh, Australians have a very good reputation in Africa. We tend to be viewed as a leader, a global leader, when it comes to technologies, services and uh, engineering. And it's encouraging to see in discussions with a number of African governments that they place real value in uh, partnerships with countries and companies like Australia because they recognise the value that the ESG standards will bring um, to, to their communities and to their nations. ESG regulations and frameworks to protect environment and social and governance um, risks are some of the crucial elements that will allow us to ensure that this is not resulting in another resource curse for the countries where extraction happens. The time is now for the mids to downstream uh, side, whereby the processing is done in the country. Those manufacturing industries must happen uh, for the benefit of all. Uh, obviously, we believe in uh, foreign direct investment as well. So there's a mutual benefit of a win-win situation. Every country where we're located in Africa, that's one of the first things that we undertake is a skills assessment, understanding what we need to do to be able to bring the, the communities up with us. There are also opportunities where you not only bring skills, you can also bring manufacturing capability and have uh, some economic activity in the areas where you operate. There is a great opportunity for African green hydrogen within a global market. So as Africans, I think we need to be proactive. We need to get to scale quicker. We need to get to market quicker. If a country, a Zambia, we are very happy that yeah, the two leaders of Zambia and the Congo have taken a bold step uh, to move forward together, meaning uh, investment between the common ground of the core belt is assured. We are working to build the full value chain of the mining industry in Ghana, recognizing that we will require strategic important partners like you, Australian mining captains of industry. <laughs>